Shipping in July of 2015, the Oculus Rift's main competitor is Project Morpheus. It's already got a devoted fan base too, and it's shipping with improved specs overall. The specs it's shipping with is uh, ends up being around 980 by 1080 or 960 by 1080 per eye, and that's really really good. And it's not just for gamers; you can watch movies on it and stuff too. Um, or even simulations. I mean, there's a video right here I'm watching, and he is on a roller coaster. Well, like, not on a roller coaster, like, in the virtual reality world. So, what's going on, guys? My name is Spiffy, and today we're going to be looking at the Oculus Rift, and we're going to see if you should buy the Oculus Rift when it comes out for $300. So, let's look at the timeline for this Oculus Rift here, and we're going to start in 2012, because that's when it kind of gets interesting. So, in January, uh, this guy Lucky, he's kind of like the creator of the Oculus Rift, he started it in his garage, he kind of shows off a prototype of the Sundance Film Festival, and then in May... He connects with John Carmack over the internet and Lucky Sense Carmack. So they kind of get together and they start working together. Now in July, Oculus VR is founded. Now in E3 of 2012, they show off Doom 3 running on the Rift. On August 1st, the Oculus Rift development kit, kit Kickstarter launches. And its idea, its idea is to fund the DK, the DK1, which has already been made. Uh, at this point in time, like, well, not in the point we're looking at, but at this point now. Jumping ahead to May, March 29th, 2013, it starts shipping. Um, on June 17th, of 2013, the Oculus raises $16 million in, in a series led by Sparks Capital and Matrix Partners, which is pretty insane, I think. And then, so John Cormac joins Oculus um, on August 7th. And then Oculus in December, on December, in December 2013, Oculus raises an additional $75 million. So this is already something that's like, has a lot of money behind it. Why should somebody care about virtual and on March 19, 2014, the Oculus Development Kit 2 was announced. And then six days later, on March 25th, 2014, Facebook bought Oculus. That is the big events in the Oculus timeline. So, if you guys don't know what Oculus VR is, which you guys probably do by now, it's a VR headset that you can plug into your computer and plug games with in real time, or in virtual reality. And it's the biggest one out there, to be honest. It's the one that's not made by a giant company, and it's the one that is has so much money behind it. It's, it, it's so good. It's very small, it's portable, it's not like the freaking 3D head that is like a midget standing on your face. It's awesome, and it looks really cool, but the thing is, it's $300, so we're going to ask the question, should you buy this today? So, this all sounds pretty good, they've had, they've had a pretty bright future, surpassing their Kickstarter goal easily, and this thing, it just looks amazing, and it looks so sleek and it looks so finished that you wouldn't know that it has some hiccups every now and then and then oculus actually just bought um a few months ago actually they bought like these people who are making a camera for the oculus when it came out they were making a camera that you can like make your hands move and stuff in the real world and it'll interact with objects in the virtual world which is really really cool so they actually bought that and that's going on to the next vr i believe so this all sounds really great but when does I mean what when do the bad stuff when does the bad stuff stuff start happening because I mean this couldn't all be bad or can it can't be not nothing's perfect is what I'm, you know so when does the bad stuff start happening is performance issues now nothing it's nothing that's totally like platform breaking. But there is performance issues, like every console has, or this isn't a console, but with that, that everything has, and it's 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 expected, to be honest. So that's really all I have for bad stuff, to be honest. The fact that Facebook acquired it kind of worries me, but at the same time, it doesn't. So. It just opens up so many gameplay opportunities. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Uh, 
is using a low persistence display. Our low persistence Interesting that Facebook chose to, to buy them instead of the uh, Facebook buying screen. something else like Twitter. Or, I mean, means that your brain I guess Twitter. I don't know. Any and then... Two years ago, I thought all we needed was faster pixels. Get to and then all the stuff that's going on with Oculus um, right now, and that's why I decided to make this video. All this is going on with Oculus. It's kind of all over the place right now because it's so close to being done. It ships this year for three hundred dollars. It goes. It comes out this year, and it's honestly kind of scary. Or not well scary and exciting at the same time because this thing is gonna be in our homes very very soon. It's really not that there's just one and it's how all these new I'm not sure if everyone's ready for it. I'm not sure if the Oculus Rift itself is ready for uh, consumption. But I do think that that's why they have two dev kits uh, out right now, and maybe three soon. Because they want to get this perfect, they want to get it right. They don't want to be another Kickstarter that raised a whole lot of money and then just fell flat. So I hope they do well with it. I really, really do. So this is the time of the video where we ask the question: Should you buy the Oculus Rift? And to answer that question, I'm going to be kind of blunt and I'm going to say, wait. I'm not going to say don't do it. I'm not going to say do it. I'm just going to say wait because the thing about buying things first day and pre-ordering for that matter is it's kind of like uh, buying an early access game. You don't really have any reviews on it and it could be still in development. That's kind of the entire point of a day one patch. So what I think you should do is I think you should wait a day. See if it's any good because there's a lot riding on this, and it's gonna be either a huge, 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 huge win or it's gonna be a huge flunk. And it could go either way at this point. So, yeah, that's gonna kind of be my uh, that's gonna be my answer. Just wait, watch some reviews, check out some reviews, do, do this, do that. Wait for it, and then if you if you're still into it, definitely go buy. It. I mean, I'm personally, I think I'm gonna go ahead and the OSVR, but that's a different video for a different time. So, thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, favorite, favorite, and subscribe. Like, favorite, like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.